I was working in, in the Northeast <clears throat> a number of years ago and I was working for one division of a large government agency and they had uh, they were doing a lot of research on pilots eyes and things like that and I, I sold them quite a bit of equipment then they asked me they said hey we've got another guy up he works at a, at a patient clinic at a major hospital he's having troubles with their LASIK eye surgery devices would you mind going there and just taking a look I said yeah sure no problem so I went up there the guy was super super fellow and I looked at his equipment I had the right equipment with me that day so I had put it right on his on his on his LASIK machine and as soon as he saw the pictures he didn't look at the he didn't look at my measurements he saw the pictures he howled <laughs> he goes get that on a disc for me so I did I put plugged in and I copied the picture for him and he ran down the hall and called the company and said get somebody out here now and fix my device because the problem was he was cutting people's eyeballs and it was healing slowly and it wasn't supposed to heal that slow because the, the laser device was a little bit a little bit off and as soon as he saw the pictures he knew full good and well that's not right and he was a really senior surgeon he knew he knew his stuff so I put beam analysis software on there and the first picture it showed was a, a raggedy edged laser beam that wasn't supposed to be that way it was supposed to be a flat top it's supposed to have sides that went up like this but it looked like you know all raggedy ends and that wasn't cutting the eyeball straight and it was taking extra time to heal and it wasn't supposed to 